What is going on guys? Chaboy D1 Snipes here. Today what we're going to be doing is uh, search and destroy defense on Riot and we're changing it up for this video. What we're going to do is a, po or shit, a POV for every individual player right off the break and then we'll talk about their responsibilities as we go through. So the search first thing destroy. we're going to do is your right side AR player. Uh, this guy needs to be able, he needs to be one of probably your smartest player. He really needs to stay alive for uh, for this push that he's going to be doing. Um, it's actually a really conservative push, but at the exact same time, uh, he's going to be communicating a lot. Now, a very standard defense over here for your right side guy is just that he's going to be watching for a B side push. So what he's going to do is he's just looking for anybody that's pushing him on this right side. He's looking here, here, maybe the top over there, and any push right here. So all he's got to do if he sees people up, do not challenge anything. Unless you've got a for sure kill, don't challenge anything. You want to call this out and then wait for help because you are the only one over here on this half of the map. So your main responsibility is to stay alive and call out this push and make sure that nobody pushes into your side of the base. Uh, another decent spot if you want to get pushed up a little more is this spot right here. Um, this spot, I mean, it's, it's easy to get a first kill, but this is usually a trade spot. This isn't a good spot to play the whole round because you get very far away from your teammates and it's harder for them to rotate and help you if you get killed. Because you can just kind of watch here, uh, kind of see if anybody's crossing over, just back up real quick. Uh, it's a lot harder to stay alive on that side. So now we'll go to the guy that watches the middle in the next round. Joy. Uh, now we're going to be doing the middle defense. Uh, this is the guy that's basically Defend just the watching the uh, middle map at the inside. Uh, this is a pretty simple spot, but it's very, very key for rotation after uh, each guy has called out where the bomb is going. So right off the bat, you're just looking for anybody that's coming from the bottom over there. You can hear that with the, uh, the little jail thing or whatever the hell that is. It makes a sound that glows red, makes a whole bunch of noise. Um, what you're looking for is guys coming up those steps on each side, looking for a middle push. If you do see somebody middle, just, just get out of there and make sure they don't push this side of the base because they can't hurt you from the middle. The way that your defense should be set up, they can't hurt you from the middle. Even if all four are in the middle, you've got them trapped. They can't go anywhere. They're either going to have to push out one side or just stay in there and lose the round. Now what's really important for this guy, uh, this guy is probably going to be have to be your best listener, honestly, because depending on who calls out, the guy B or the guy A, you're going to do one of two things. If the other team is going to B, you're going to rotate to B as quickly as possible. Now what you're doing is just helping keep them off the bomb. You don't need to push any kills even if the guy B side dies. You're just keeping guys off the bomb, make sure they don't cross into your base. Uh, if they call out A side, what you're doing is you still want to keep an eye on middle because it's leaving you open. But if they're going A, you're just using this head glitch right here and this one over here to help out middle and make get sure that they don't the get the bomb round. down or that they don't rush uh, fire connector. Alright, here we're going to do the uh, left side AR or sniper. Um, what I like to do here, um, if you have a more skilled sniper, I would definitely challenge this as usually if a team is pushing A side, they always send somebody up here and they try to send somebody right behind there. Now if you're a more skilled sniper, this should be a pretty easy shot and then you can even push up and make sure that they don't uh, push on your guy that you're going to have down bottom. But what you want to do is you don't want to challenge anything out of this door. You should be covered there. But you really want to get this first pick. This first pick is going to decide whether they actually push this out or they rotate back and play defensively uh, on offense. And if you can make somebody play defensively on offense uh, without the bomb down, then you're doing your job on defense. So if you can get this pick, that's really important. If you're not that skilled of a sniper, I would come right here and you can head glitch this spot or you can come right here. This is a freaking amazing spot that I found just the other day. You cannot shoot through this fence, so you can call this out 
for your middle guy to rotate uh, to the fire connector and you can see this guy and you can cover anybody that's rushing with the bomb uh, right out of here maybe get this pick uh, just kind of play the cross uh, don't really uh, have to actually get a kill right here to play good defense and then as far as rotations all you're doing is just kind of chilling Great and job. watching the flank you don't really need round. to push up at all being a sniper uh, for this uh, left side AR or sniper, what you're going to do on defense is uh, you're just going to push this bottom room and you're going to check this spot right here. Uh, you're Basically what you're doing is uh, being an anti-sniper or an anti-AR. Some people will try and rush this and get behind this pillar and some people will just stay here and just try to pick that guy third story. So you're basically just trying to be uh, an anti-sniper guy and watching this spot right here honestly and your main objective is rotation just like the guy in the middle um, if a guy gets called out B and they can see that they're planning or trying to plan at B he is gonna leave the middle and he's gonna pick up the connector over there like I showed you earlier and you are gonna watch middle this is gonna be your main responsibility and the, the guy up top your left side sniper uh, third story is gonna watch your back and the whole left side of the map you just pick up middle, make sure you guys don't get flanked. And if they call out A, what you really want to do is try to get to this side of the room. Because you don't want to get picked from up top, from over there, from one of those pillars. You want to get right here. So if you hear that bomb go down, you can pop out and kill that guy really quick. But don't, if you pop out, don't stay out here. Because more than likely, you're going to have guys over there. And you're going to have guys on their third story trying to kill you as well another good spot maybe is to push up on flank is just to come right up here don't get too aggressive with it but you can definitely make sure that they don't push your flank or rotate back if you get up to their third story well, uh, thank you guys for watching for hope you guys reason. learned something uh, if you guys have any suggestions on the next map or game mode let me know I'll see you guys on the next one peace